Welcome to Marine Max. My name is Perry, part of the sales team here. We're going to go through a brief walkthrough of this 2023 Cruiser Yachts 50 Canius. Uh, this boat arrived to us here in, in actually two pieces. Um, Cruiser Yachts are built up in Oconto, Wisconsin, and they're trucked down and a team, they trucked down two pieces, and a team is actually sent from Cruiser Yachts to assemble them. So, a pretty cool process if you get the chance to see one at your local dealer. Um, just a shot from the dock here. We've got a pretty low tide. So you can see again what we just passed in the bow and we'll go up there in a moment. But just a nice just shot of the layout of the cockpit and the swim platform. Um, notice it's dual entry into the cockpit. Um, so you got a nice center island seating area with table. And then notice the bar stools, but uh, let's get on the boat and check it out. Walking down to the swim platform is a hydraulic swim platform with uh, steps that actually deploy into the water. You notice this is the port side entry I was talking about. But first, we've got a grill on the back. It's very convenient if you're. Uh, Got this one platform down, have people back in the water here. Um, nice gathering point with two cup holders, of course. And then port and starboard, these are lockers to access, uh, quick access to storage, as well as a swim platform remote and um, access to your city dock water and electronics, uh, electric. When you put this back down, you've seen some of the pictures on the listing that this whole back seat lifts up. Um, I use that for lines, fenders, and additional storage. Stepping up into the cockpit, see we got it opened up right now. And notice there's a very big um, shade overhead. I'll give you some more sun coverage on those hot, hot days. This is a high-low table here. There's also a filler cushion that goes in the center of it, so you can turn it into uh, a lounging, sunbathing uh, day bed. Nice feature there from Cruiser Yachts. Before we go inside, let's go check out the bow. One thing I love about this boat is the amount of bow space you have uh, used for entertaining. Um, some boats really miss the mark on usage of their bows with just a small bow pad. But as you can see here, the chaise lounge set up, a nice teak table, high gloss, um, cup holders abound, and then spotlight, and then access to your anchor on this road and chain. And then if you're wondering what these guys are, there are four posts that go on each corner, and there is a shade similar to one of the cockpit that goes overhead gives you some more sun protection. Quick shot of the bow, and let's head back to the cockpit. Another feature I love to point out, of course, is the engine room. Uh, as an owner, you have to know what's going on down there, and um, I think Cruiser Yachts really thinks of, one, their owners, owner operators, as well as the technicians. Okay. So now, in the engine room, obviously two Volvo Penta IPS D8700s. These are a pod drive boat. So you have, there's your actual transmission, pod transmission for your port and for your starboard. One of the things I like to point out while we're down here, everything is neatly and clearly labeled for what each function is. So from your batteries to your Dometic system, um, engine, generator, fuel filters, everything down here is made to be easily located, whether it's a line, um, electronic fuses, swim platform, control box. Um, one of the things that Cruiser Yachts does better than I think any other brand is down here and you're not going to see it from you know top side photos but once you get down here and kind of take a peek 
under the hood, as they say, um, I think you'll really be impressed. The 50 Canius is a three stateroom, two head layout. And as you can tell, we gotta have an aft galley, um, bar stools opposed from a window that drops down electronically. Really connects the salon to the cockpit, makes everybody part of the um, conversation. Accordion doors to starboard. And behind those doors, you have an ice maker. And of course, we can't forget about your joystick docking, binnacle, back here in the cockpit. Stepping into the salon, we have flat screen TV directly below, um, fridge, freezer combination, as well as over in the galley, you have a third with a convection oven and microwave, um, induction cooktop, fresh water sink, storage above, and a great view off the aft of this vessel. Privacy shades that come down um, at night give you a little bit um, more intimacy if you're aft facing in your marina. Settee here for uh, some extra guests while underway, cup holders. I really love this double wide helm seat. It's got a big bolster. Um, most people I'd say would stand up when you're running this boat. Um, it is a little taller, but with a simple drop here, you can fit two people comfortably. You've got a footrest down below. Opposite your helm is a elevated seating area with a uh, collapsible teak table. Those two leafs on either side will fold down, but right now we have it in the extended position. One thing that I notice when I'm sitting in this area, I'll see if I can give you a, kind of a first person view of it, is that we're, sit we're sitting up higher. Uh, it's not a flybridge vessel, but looking around, you can see what's going on in the marina. Um, a lot of other layouts, you have kind of this lower seating throughout the entire boat, and uh, you can't really see much. So I love what Cru Cruiser Yachts has done here. I feel like I have a little bit more situational awareness while sitting in this position or, or cruising or out running on the boat. Focusing here at the helm, over to starboard, you have your joystick docking, trim tabs, forward reverse binnacle here. This also has a uh, station remote where you can control, if you want to control the boat from this binnacle or uh, the one in the cockpit for docking. Electronic start stops. Twin Garmin screens. Seakeeper display is right here, easily accessible. Rockford Fosgate radio. Uh, also have the Garmin VHF. And then with a simple push of a button, your sunroof will retract, letting a lot of natural light into the boat and a little bit more air. So love that feature as well. We'll start in the VIP. As you can tell, this is the ebony oak package in high gloss. All of what you see comes with the boat. You have a day head or an ensuite head with the closing of this door. You can lock that as well, and your guests can use the day head access. There's a small note on some of the details Cruiser Yachts puts into their vessels. Um, very nice touch. To starboard, you have stackable bunk beds, the TV, closet, and then also your electrical panel is located in this stateroom. Heading down to your aft master. 
You'll notice that there is a ensuite head, of course, separate shower, and a nice backsplash. Tons of storage, hanging rail. Notice the full beam, large hull side windows uh, with portholes, actually very large portholes. So from here to here, these will open on either side. Let a nice breeze in um, on those cooler days. You'll notice you got induction, phone chargers right here. So place your phone there and it'll automatically charge as well as light controls, Dometic controls for your air conditioning, as well as a nice backsplash and mirror. On starboard side, drawers and storage throughout. And of course, to port, nice lounging area, maybe reading a book or having a coffee in the morning. And this vessel also comes equipped with a washer dryer combo just behind these two panels here. Good to have for those extended trips. That concludes the walkthrough on our 2023 Cruiser Yachts 50 Canius. If you have more questions, please feel free to give us a call. Again, my name is Perry Avery. Number here, 330-348-6916.